Anytime you want now. I don't want. Oh, hello. My name is Mark, and uh, this is my dog Rod. And my, I'm Claire, and this is my dog Venice. And this is basically a story of how, uh, well, uh, how Claire and I met. Um, it's all thanks to these lovely little guys here. Um, back in 2011, I applied for a, a guide dog. Uh, the people from Guide Dogs came out to interview me, put me through all the tests and everything. Uh, eventually, in 2012, I was matched with a, a guide dog, and I had to go to Shrewsbury to get this guide dog. And it's a two-week residential course. And while on that course, um, I met this uh, young lady here. I don't know so much about the young, but uh, I had to do the same thing. I applied in 2011 and uh, eventually was matched with Venice and had to go to Shrewsbury for the course um, in April 2012. And that's where I met Mark and Rod. As I say, we, we turned up at the course, it was a two-week residential, so on the first day, the Monday of the first week of the course, everybody's being introduced to one another, and those people, some people were from Manchester, some people from Telford, Wolverhampton, and we found out that uh, we were both from Stoke-on-Trent, and it ended up that we were living, literally, a mile and a half of one another, mm. and uh, never knew this. So, over the, uh, the course of the next two weeks, which is an intense two weeks, it's six o'clock starts in the morning through to about eight o'clock at night time you fed your dog, worked your dog, you've been training constantly throughout the day. As the weeks were going on, uh, everyone was saying how much our two dogs, we seem to be getting, well, much more friendly with one another than any of the other dogs. In fact, the trainers said it was the romance of the course, the two dogs, they'd always pulled towards one another. Uh, ignore all the other dogs, pull towards one another, play with one another, mouth one another. So um, we sort of used to meet, didn't we, about we around the hotel yeah. on poo runs, should we say. First thing in the morning you're taking your dog out to make sure you know he's ready for the day or she's ready for the day. Take it out, let them spend before you start the day's work. And of course it, the dogs will, won't do to order, they have to do it in their own time so you have to walk them around. And of course in the early hours of the morning we're meeting one another around the hotel. Has your dog? No. Has yours? No. no. And eventually uh, Claire says to me, she says we're going to have to stop meeting like this or people are going to start talking. <laughs> so anyway we goes on like this. We get on very good from the start, just sort of talking yeah. generally. There's nothing, no romance or anything. It's too, it's too hard. The it's whole too course hard. is. You're too tired. You're too tired at the hard. end of the day for anything. Um, so at the near the end of the course, uh, Claire says to me, she says, you know, give us your number and I'll I'll give you a ring when you get back home because yeah. you still had to carry on training when you get back home for about, in my case, another five weeks. So she said, give me your number and I'll give you a ring after a couple of weeks. See how you're getting on. Yeah, so you, you sort of, I thought, well, we could meet up for a coffee and discuss about owning a guide dog, have a good moan about it, you know, and all that type of thing. And um, so after a fortnight after I got home, I qualified and I rang Mark. He was still doing his training, but we arranged that when he'd finished his training, we'd meet up for coffee. Uh, just to have a chat to see how we were getting on with the dogs. So uh, we arranged Mr. for coffee, we did that. We arranged, we got um, out there and had coffee. And uh, it sort of went from there. We, we the then coffee, decided yeah. we'd meet for lunch. Mm -hmm. The lunch lasted an hour and then the following lunch it was two hours. And eventually we were having three and a half hour lunches. And to the extent that the wait waiters and waitresses were thinking, are these two going to go home at yeah. all today? Have so they got a home to go to? Have they to? got a home? So anyway, it went really from, from strength to strength like that. And uh, um, we decided I sent you a text, didn't I? Yeah, you. Um, we decided we'd go out for a meal without the dogs uh, as friends. And just before we went out for the meal, I had received a text from Mark saying, if you'd let me, I'd make your world a whole lot happier. And I thought, oh! <laughs> I thought, all right then. <laughs> Give it a go. So uh, we started going out from then on. And uh, in February, 
we got engaged. Yeah. Got engaged so, on February um, on February the fourteenth, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. We got engaged and um all all seems to be going from strength to strength and uh, we're planning on getting married on um and next March. Yep. Yeah. So, so And so yeah. that's really where we are today. So our dogs brought us together. So our dogs brought us together and mm. uh, the dogs are, are still are still as much uh, as much part of the fun and everything and still and still totally totally crazy about one another. We, we went to Shrewsbury expecting to come back with a guide dog and we went to Shrewsbury and came back with uh, basically a bog off of a, of a fiance. Mm. Got so. a got a guide dog and got a fiance free. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> <laughs>